Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. They don't take away APC members for Edo State. They wait for Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki and his Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu fight. Make it happen. Their fight don't finally happen. The Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu don't drag Obaseki go court. He say Obaseki, they try to impeach him. Emalwe Aibogun. They send message, give Obaseki. He say after Obaseki don't impeach Philip Shaibu, make he wait for a turn because Naim go be the next to be impeached. Make I leave you, make you hear from Emalwe Aibogun. The message we bring come here today. Yes, 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 yes. A warm good evening wherever you are. Good evening to you, my conscious Edo people. I remain no other person than yours, noble right activist, comrade I, Bogu Emmanuel. And if you're just joining me live, I want you to just listen, share this broadcast, and invite as many as you can invite this afternoon. Because I won't be spending much time, I just need 10 minutes to talk to you out there. Uh, it's so laughable that uh, they say. <laughs> Our governor and deputy governor are now dancing the surrogate the dance in the marketplace. And thus far, people who don't want others who have gotten judgment to enjoy their judgment are now running to the same court, the same judicial system in Nigeria to look for succor, how they can remain in office. Forgetting the fact that the deputy governor and the governor st uh, stopped the uh, 14 House of Assembly member from sitting in their office. I want to let the people know. <laughs> that uh, as Felicia Ibu is running from pillar to post to ensure that he's not impeached, the governor's impeachment is also awaiting for uh, <laughs> awaiting for him in a due date. Uh, so laughable, I just finished uh, listening to some voices on social media and I said I have to come out live because uh, you know, say so if you do me, I do you, God no go verse. Uh, now, those people were doing, they are not doing themselves, and I want to let the other people know. That immediately after the deputy governor is impeached, the governor's impeachment is also waiting for him because <laughs> the monies that have been accrued to Edo State, you all know you cannot see the development on ground. Whether our governor is uh, investing it in uh, other banks, we don't know. But very soon, the House of Assembly will begin to ask questions. Very, very soon. And what is laughable again is that. Uh, Philip Shaibu is stopping communities who have gotten judgment to enjoy the fruit of their judgment as the deputy governor in charge of boundary commission. He's now running to the same court to also look for a means on how he can survive and continuously enjoy the bulky salaries of the people of Edo State as the deputy governor, forgetting the fact that his master is the owner of the key to his office. The governor can choose to lock the office tomorrow and choose to open the office next tomorrow. But as it stands now, the court has given an order that uh, <laughs> the House of Assembly should stay action until the substantive suit before them is determined. It's so laughable that people will say that uh, we are fighting our brother. To an extent, I share that philosophy, but this is not fight. This is politics. This is democracy. This is our right to exercise our franchises and our right to support whoever we so choose. Uh, don't forget. That we were once in this state when the governor fought Odubu, who was his brother, from becoming the NDDC uh, chairman. We are also in this country and in this state when the governor fought tirelessly to ensure that an Edo man was removed as the national chairman of APC. In fact, he had to hire the national chairman's brother and the chairman of his ward to suspend him from the party. But now they have forgotten that they have also injured other people, but they want to at this moment continually uh, lobby Edo people with the social media and see how they can uh, uh, <laughs> manage them to remain in office. You saw what the governor said yesterday while Labour was protesting that uh, Edo people should neglect and uh, reject the, the palliative of the federal government, whereas the governor and the deputy governor were hiding Domi and spaghetti and rice in Domi, spaghetti and rice in warehouses in Edo State. When Buari brought it for it to get to the common man, they were holding in Domi, in Domi, in Domi. 
they were holding in Domi that was meant for the ordinary poor citizens. The Lilliputians, the, the Raktax and the Bogtics, the governor was hiding these things from them. Now they are now into a fight. You know, I always told the good people that no distant time the truth will be out. And just now, just very now, just just now, 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 in our backyard, the governor and his deputy, they don't, they don't took leg for inside one rapper. The rapper not do that, they don't took leg for inside one jeans. That goes a long way to show you that justice is blind. Justice is blind. Justice is a blind man. He doesn't see, he doesn't see. All he sees is just one way. And whoever is on the way that obstructs it, he gives it the fair share of what he or she ought to get in line with the rules and regulations of our land. So if they pay me, if they sweet me, if they sweet me, they pay me. Don't allow anybody to deceive you that uh, the governor is coming to, uh, 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 this one is coming to fight the governor. We are beneath, we should stand by ourselves so that we shouldn't allow a stranger to come and intimidate us. You see, like this politics, after all, a man who is from Esako, Develop Bini more than Obaseki. Today, I join voices to ask where is Obaseki's village in Bini? Where is the governor's village? Does the governor have a village? If he has a village, what has he done? He's leaving office in the next uh, 12 months. What has he really done to his local people from his village, his Aboriginal village? What has he done? So they want to cajole you people now to come and start thinking that, oh, we need to support Obaseki. Or if I look, Benedion is a more performing governor than Obaseki. As corrupt as the Benedion government, he's performed and his performance is far reaching and beneficial to Edo people. Under Obaseki, ask how many Benin men has Obaseki helped? How many Benin men has Obaseki empowered? How many Benin men has Obaseki supported or made a, 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 a somebody? within the Nigerian political space or the economic space as the case may be. This is a man that runs one man show. They say you need a good shishi. But the whole money they enter in pocket. So we are watching. I just want to inform all of you. Don't be carried away. Don't be carried away. Don't be carried away because the governor needs to get his own fair share too. Don't forget the governor said I don't know be Lagos. But <laughs> when it came to issue of him supporting a Southerner, a Southerner to become president of Nigeria in the name of Wiki. He left Wiki that came to fight for him in Edo State. He went and started supporting Atiku. Atiku is from far Adamawa State, who has done vice president before, and his people are still suffering. He left Wiki, who is performing for our Southern brothers, and he went to go and start supporting uh, uh, Atiku, who has been a former controller of customs, who have also been uh, 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 a former vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and enjoyed Nigeria to the extent that he became stupendously rich. So these are the actions. That is why I want to appeal to my do people. Do not join hands in supporting whether the governor or the deputy governor. These are fed politicians. They don't have anything to, sh to show us for the past eight years than fight upon fight upon fight upon fight. If the governor has worked, he doesn't need you to come and be campaigning for him on social media. All Oshomole did, we can see with our eyes. All Oshomole did for those states, we can see with our eyes. So don't be carried away. Don't be carried away at all in this battle. Don't forget, I told you that the deputy governor is one of the major problems that we have. Why the governor is the major problem that we have? Because him himself, look at Bini. He said we are Beninese, we shouldn't uh, support another person to come and remove our brother. But we are suffering. No road. Look at Kenwa Road. The only dualized road that he has done. Go to Ogege and uh, uh, Obanyato Road where the governor is grabbing people's land. You will see, agree with me that it is still the same business as usual. So please, let us not allow them to deceive us one minute. They don't mean well for the totality of the two people. They are not working for our, for our future. They are working for their pockets. And very soon, the real information will be out in public domain because our governor is not working for we the those, particularly the Beninese. Ask yourself, where is the governor's village? Where is the governor's village? Where is the governor's village? And what has he done in his village? You can see what Oshomole did in his village. You can see what uh, Ambrose Ali did in his village. You can also see what Lucky Benedio did in his village. The same thing applicable to Ibimudia and Oyegu.
So ask yourself, where is Obaseki's village and what has he done? Felicia Ebu will show you his village. The governor that is our own brother now, tell me what has he done for his village. There is no governor that comes into power in Nigeria that does not do something for his aboriginal village tribesmen. But our governor, he doesn't, even in Oredo where he claims to come from, go to Oredo, you, you will throw spits. There is no single attraction of development that, that is meaningful to Edo people that you can beat your chest and say, yes, you are proud of your governor. Go to Oredo and ask. So I have told you people, after the deputy governor's impeachment, because the impeachment must come, you will not still see Obaseki's impeachment, because everybody must have a fair share of this underdevelopment that they have brought to Edo State. We are only watching from the side, but we will continue to abreast you people of what is going on, because these people are, the fact, they are canker worms. They are canker worms and they are exploiting us as a people. So we must not give them room. We must not support them. Instead, we should be asking them, where is your work? Where is your work? After seven years and in government, it's now about to say he wants to open College of Agri uh, Agriculture. Eh? Show me one meaningful thing. Don't forget, under Oshomole, we saw uh, uh, Siloko Road, Airport Road, Second East Secular, New Bini and Environs, New Lagos Road. I can go on and on. You saw how Shomole changed many areas. In fact, maybe Bini a city. But under Obaseki, he's fighting the monarch. He's fighting his own brothers from getting appointments that he did not work for, that he did not give to them. He went there to stop them. He went there to remove Oshomole as a national chairman. So ask me now, of what benefit is his government to Edo people? He's saying he's managing the future of Edo. He's grabbing people's land. He's not paying them compensation. He's grabbing people's property. He's not giving them anything. So that is the more reason why I'm coming out to let the people know. Don't be carried away. The they, all these people you see coming to show me that to tell you that the governor is this, the governor is that. They are seriously embezzling the government. The government is empowering them squarely to continuously dish out lies and deceit to our people. So we are watching from the corner. As they talk, we will respond. As they respond, we will also respond because <laughs> Nobody is a daft in Nigeria anymore. Everybody seems to be so, so wise nowadays. You understand me? Everybody seems to be wise nowadays. You know, I told you guys, don't join labor to protest. Labor said if they come out for protest, they will not show. They've all gone to Villa yesterday. They're giving them something now. They've called up the strike. So that is to tell you that everybody should be using their number six to calculate what they want in this our democracy. I remember no other person than your snobble right activist. I came out to just tell you people the fair information that you need to know. Do not be carried away. Don't be carried away. If you watch all of them, some of them have not been doing live videos since uh, how long? They are now out. You now have a Baseki camp. You now have a Shaibu camp. They say Wanta will be in uh, Channel Television by 7 o'clock. Let us go and see them expose themselves. <laughs> They want to start exposing themselves. And you hear what the deputy governor said? That it's only when it's out of the state that they have security challenges. And he's the only one that always go there and tackle it. That he, in fact, anytime he's being handed over power to, he's always there to do the needful and embezzle for himself. So, gentlemen and ladies, my people, my people, Mona Shaun, Ayo, the politics ahead of us in the coming days is going to be very, very interesting. Just as I said, don't support anybody. Support what will put food on your table. Support us to give you good roads to your houses. Not all these substandard roads that the governor is uh, uh, doing for us. After all, we can ask him, show me your contractors. The contractors in those states, whether you see Lebanese men working on the road or each other working on the road, the contractors are okay. The, the, the chief of staff, they are the ones that own all those small, small companies that you are seeing. And at the end of the day, they will be telling us that they are working. They are not working for us. They are working for their pockets. They are working for their pockets. And those people you see that are coming to shout when they tie one, uh, one kilometer road in one street, that erosion will come and watch that. The quota they use, in fact, Uruwe, native chalk, Uruwe is more better than the, the road. They will start coming to Facebook. They will, they will use fly drone over one kilometer road while their mates in other states are doing 40 kilometers, 25 kilometers. That is what you are seeing in a those states. So please. I want to call it hot because I want to go and buy my popcorn and listen to channels, <laughs> channels interview where Wata will be talking in a few minutes with Shemu 
I want to go and buy because these people are they, are they think we are clowns, but we'll join them in their clownish uh, uh, <laughs> expedition because they are not working for us, they are working for their pockets. Once again, I remain no other person than your noble rider activist, Comrade like Bogu Emmanuel. Please share, 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 share. Bye for now. <laughs>